All right, so the anniversary is over. Uh, the banner is not going to go away for under two weeks or so. Uh, but on GP right now, we just got all of the content that is anniversary related already in the game. And so I felt like I should round up all of the, um, I want to say opinions, but all the thoughts that I've had of this celebration and my, uh, my likes and dislikes. And why I think that this was overall the best anniversary we had so far. Now, you can make, uh, obviously, your own uh, opinions and, and thoughts in the comments as well, I, I encourage. But, uh, hear me out, and uh, a, a few of these I actually stole from a Twitter uh, post I made asking people uh, for their, their thoughts as well. And, um, and so if you did reply to that tweet, thank you very much, I have stolen your intellectual property. But yeah, so again, I think overall, this was the best anniversary we've got. Uh, it's not really a competition because the first anniversary was terrible, so that cannot even be in the discussion. But the second anniversary wasn't, I think, as great as people remember, but it wasn't bad. Uh, but overall, I think this was better. So let's start, let's start, you know, about talking about the things that I liked about the celebration. And the first thing I really liked was that the unit on this anniversary was not overpowered. Now, first and second anniversary had an issue where I felt like they tuned the anniversary character to be the only thing you could use forever now. Goddess Liz was horrendous. She was way too overpowered and you could not play the game without her for months on end. And the same thing for Bon. Bon, until a few weeks ago, was something that you could not escape from. And until months ago, was something that you could not pl uh, play the game without, it felt like. Obviously, you could still win PvP without him, if you didn't face him. Uh, but you couldn't, really. Let let's be real, you couldn't. And I feel like this time around, they managed to make a unit that was really good. Elizabeth is a really good unit. She is powerful. She can be very powerful in very specific teams, but she's not a character that every single time I face her, I'm, I, I just want to quit the match. How it was with Vaughn and with Goddess Liz. Now, will I, do I think that she's going to be even better in the future? Yes, I think so. I think as more uh, Goddess characters come out, she will be even better. Uh, specifically Archangels. Um, Mile <laughs> comes out. He's probably going to be a really put really potent character that will be on her on her team and she'll probably be even better then with a team like that or maybe even more sin characters just characters that proc her passive basically yeah she she has a future but my alarm is going off at 12 15. uh she has future potential as well which i like so the unit itself i very much like above the first and second anniversary i like her more than i liked bond because again bond was just way too overpowered you could not play the game without seeing him every single match at one point it was just very annoying she's not the case i see her pp very often but i don't see just her there are many pvp teams right now so the pvp meta is not just completely broken i, I like that um and again she will be better in the future i feel like so, do I think the character could have been someone else? Yes, that's a different discussion. The unit, I think, was very good, but not overpowered. Um, my second point, they gave us a shit ton of gems. That, that's, that's actually what I wrote. Um, shit load of gems. <laughs> that's what I wrote. Uh, they gave us a shit load of gems. Uh, login, 300 gems, special login, just just that was already huge because you gotta think Grand Cross is already a game that gives more gems on the monthly basis than most games give. Every game that I've played can compare it to Grand Cross in terms of like just a regular everyday gem um, given that Grand Cross does. And they gave us the 300 gems. We got 100 gems in the mail for uh, Top Grossing now. Was that planned? No, but they gave us anyways 100 gems for Top Grossing. They could have been like other games and be like, okay, you get a uh, half a multi for Top Grossing. And if you get Top Grossing again, they don't give you two multis like other games. Um, and no, they, they just gave us 100 gems. It was very nice. And then they also gave us 30 gems for an error. Uh, that they gave us one extra free multi on the free banner by accident. 
And so they, they gave us a really good, uh, good amount of gems. And in total, this month, if you play the game like a regular person should, uh, not playing that much, just doing your daily, uh, daily gems, being champ 5, which is not hard, um, you get an average of 900 plus gems just this month, which is a full rotation on the banner. You know, th that's very good. That's very good. A huge amount of gems. And that's the uh, standard now. I feel like for the 4th anniversary, we should be looking at even more gems in the 4th anniversary. And that was the standard that I feel, I feel like Trader Melly set. Trader Melly celebration, the moment that I saw that we got like all those gems for login, I was like, holy shit. <laughs> I don't remember they ever doing something like that. And I, I'm glad that they kept up with that uh, standard. And if they can keep raising the standard, that would be even better because they just did. They just raised the standard from Trader Melly celebration. Don't remember exactly how many gems the login for Trader Melly was, but they raised it from that, and then now I assume they're gonna raise it even more for the fourth anniversary. So huge amount of gems is something that I don't think anyone can complain. And uh, yeah, big up. Like well, what else can I say? <laughs> Just cool. Uh, the free banner was huge. The free banner, like a lot of people, are like oh I preferred Fever. Sure, Fever was really good, uh, but I feel like this free banner. Having guaranteed was huge. I can't show the free banner because it's gone, but the free banner guaranteeing you a f guaranteeing you the one and Halloween Galfer for free. Uh, again, both JP and Global got 15 free multis. I got 15 free multis on my global account as well. Um, they again, it was an error. They accidentally gave everyone 15 free multis by logging in. Uh, it was an error that they gave 30 gems for, so even if you didn't get the 50 multis because you forgot to log in a day and do the multi, then you could have just used the, 50, the, the 30 free gems they gave you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so they gave a guaranteed Halloween multi, with Halloween Galfer, sorry, which is a relevant character, and the one's a relevant character, and they, they put Brynhilder, Megalda, the Red uh, Liz, like, they put actually characters that people might want on that banner as well. It's not like they put, like, a bunch of dog shit. So, that banner was really good. Uh, we'll talk about Fever, by the way. Uh, don't don't worry, I'm not thinking, I'm not pretending Fever never existed. But we'll talk about it on the negatives. Um, but, for the celebration. But, you know, this free banner was huge. I think that uh, a free banner that guarantees stuff like that, uh, guaranteeing a festival character is huge. And again... Everything that they've made the celebration that I think is a positive is a bar that they need to set even higher for the next one, uh, which I hope they do. So, the raid. The raid they brought from the celebration is good. I really like the raid. I really like the boss of the raid. The fact that they made it the original demon is really cool. They could have made a random demon like shitty Belmoth, but... <laughs> like, Belmoth is just a random demon. But it's the original demon! It's a cool one. So I, I like the raid. I played the raid so much. And I didn't really get tired of it. I'm still playing it every day. Uh, I really like the raid. Now, level 100 is a different discussion. Don't worry, we'll get there. Uh, but the raid itself was a really good addition to the game in a celebration. It's content. This is content. Content is good. Um, and again, we'll, we'll talk more about the raid action in the negatives. But this is, this is a positive. They... they should have dropped, uh, I feel like, um, level 90 the celebration. So they should have dropped level 85 when Belmoth came out, and level 90 the celebration with the original demon, or something like that. Maybe, uh, maybe not, but we'll, we'll get to level 100 in the negatives, but the raid itself was a really good drop, its content. Uh, Hero Wave. Global has not got this update yet, but and I can't show it because I already did it. But Global will get this next week. Hero Way update was huge. Uh, the Hero Way um, was a joke, and everyone had basically already done it for the one SSR ticket they gave. But now it gives multiple SSRs that are already leveled up and a bunch of miscellaneous rewards that are pretty good. It's not very complicated. It's for new players. They are trying to uh, board in as many new players as possible and the hero way update was a huge um a, a huge update for new players I, I think it was really good the ssr ticket rate up is decent I'm, I'm still keeping this in because i think it's still a positive uh it, it's still like a, a ploy i i feel like maybe my conspiracy um 
a tinfoil hat uh, is showing, but it's a ploy for Red Tarmiel uh, being added like in the near future and them trying to take off all your SSR tickets beforehand, but if you need specific dupes for characters that are in the SSR tickets, this rate up is huge. And it's not something that I'm like, oh, it's really good right now. I think this is like a mechanic that if they bring back more often would be cool. If they could bring this back like every three months or so and just leave it for a week for people to just use, it would be really great. So this being a mechanic that now exists in the game is huge. Uh, the Goddess Blessing, similar to the SSR ticket rate up. This is a really cool update that they added to the celebration that I hope they bring back more often. It doesn't have to be exactly like this, like a, a shrine for the goddess, because I see this was because, you know, it was a goddess Liz, not, not goddess Liz, but you know, Liz, which is a goddess, so it makes sense with the celebration. But if they make something like this, every single celebration now, every single festival that comes out, I think this would be really cool because these buffs, they add up. And uh, every day, having the extra skip ticket that you get, having the extra um, random dr random things here. I can't read because it's in Japanese. <laughs> the random stuff that they they added here and the raid bonus was really cool. So I think that this um, this is a pretty good positive that I hope they bring back uh, with you know fa fair uh, fairly often. And just wrapping up the good stuff, which again like the the list of good stuff might not seem very large, but. You gotta think the anniversaries for Grand Cross were always deemed to be terrible. Even the Sakai anniversary was not see, seen by all the community as a really good positive. And even still, I think the celebration was a better celebration than that one. Um, minor quality of life stuff, they did just do minor quality of life, like the, the health bar for the demon, uh, for the demons and, and for the bosses. Um, I think that was a pretty cool update. It's not like it's something they expect for anniversary to have minor quality of lives. So, it was nice. Now, it's time to talk about the stuff people actually want to hear. The negatives, baby! Okay, so, I compiled... Um, I feel like all the negatives. Maybe there were some I missed because maybe I just didn't, felt, uh, didn't feel as negatively impacted by it. So, I didn't really, you know, realize it. But again, you can uh, leave in the comments uh, your thoughts as well. My first and most major negative, I feel like for me, was the banner. So, like I said, I liked the unit. The unit itself was good. The banner was awful. This is not an anniversary banner. This is an excuse for a shithole to spend money on. <laughs> I didn't write this down, I just made it up. Uh, the banner is terrible. The rates should not be the shitty rates that we are accustomed to. This is anniversary. Like, I'm taking this to the standard of an anniversary banner. The rates on this banner are way too terrible for an anniversary. 4% should not be the standard. We are way past 4%. The amount of dead multis you get on an anniversary banner is just sad it's just sad and every single player is relating to me right now <laughs> that's how i know um it's awful the anniversary banner is awful they should have made it like seven percent rates or something and let's continue it's not it's not just the rates the units are awful these units right here were deliberately put in the banner to make it worse last year on the second anniversary let's compare it to the second anniversary they also made it voting, but they got the top 16 per, uh, 15 or 16 of the voted SSRs. This year, they deliberately made it the top 20 because they knew it would add more shitty SSRs to the pool. Like, this is in order, by the way, of number one. So number one voted was Sauriel, and number 20 was Blue Merlin. All of this bottom could have been cut off after Tarmiel. They, they didn't say how many were going to be put in the banner, as far as I recall. So they could have just deliberately have made the banner better if they just cut all these trash units. They know we're trash. They know we're trash. They obviously know they're trash. And just kept at least the top. Like, yeah, the, the community was trolling and putting Green Askenor and Blue DM Alley shirt. That's, yeah. But that was their choice. To make the banner have this many bad units, they could have had, starting from here, 
after Blue Tarmion, so this is this is below Blue Tarmion in terms of votes, cut all these units off. It would have been a much better banner. It was their choice. Their choice. So, you see how much more pa passionate I sound when I talk about bad shit? <laughs> uh, there should be more guarantees to source. Again, this is an anniversary banner. This just looks like a shitty regular festival with 300, 600, 900. This should have been 150, 300, 450, 600, 750, 900. As far as guarantee SSRs go. And even if they want to sprinkle in, if they want to sprinkle in, at 600, there should have been a guaranteed festival as well. Now, that maybe I'm, dream I'm dreaming. I'm living in fantasy land, thinking they would do that. It's anniversary. This is not a random festival. This is anniversary. They're at the standards should be high. The banner has very low standards that we, I guess, just tag along because we don't have a choice. <sighs> Only Liz at the end was a terrible choice. I know what they did that. They did that because they know Trader Melly is better. Um, if Trader Melly was a guarantee, every single player that um, doesn't already have him 6 6 would have picked him. Is Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would have picked them on my global account. Um, they they deliberately made it only Liz because they knew that. And he is a headliner. Like you see in the picture, right here. It's in the picture. He is in the picture. There are only two characters they show to promote this banner. It's Liz and Trader Melly. And guess who's not in the guarantee? So. Um, the character, guys, this one is not as bad. So <laughs> the, the four points I just made are things that they should really consider changing. The last one is kind of like a nitpick, so... Uh, why are the characters not awakened? So, they are level 80, but there's no awakening stars. Like, the, you know, the stars? On the, there's, why? Every single time they do this, they do level 80, 6 star awakened. That's just random. Again, that's deliberate. They specifically went for that, why? <laughs> so, that's such a weird way to make the banner worse. And it just adds on, like, they are making deliberate and deliberate and deliberate choices to make the banner worse. And the banner just ends up being a disappointment that every single person that I've seen in the community disliked. They could have also made them super awakened. Now, it doesn't have to be super awakened in 6, but maybe, like, super awakened in 3, 4? I don't know. Just tossing it out there. That's just, you know, something I would like to see. But, um, maybe I'm dreaming. Now... Let's continue. That was just one thing. <laughs> that was six minutes almost. Um, there was no content. So there was only one thing they brought with content, which was, was one of my positives. The demon. The, the raid is content. Content is good. And that was it. The boss stage or the boss event thingy. This is not new content. This is not content. These are old rehash bosses that no one cares about and everyone just one turns. That this is not content. The the shop for them is okay. I'll I'll give it that getting 10 UR stone thing is cool. The shop were, was okay. The rewards were okay. You know? Content? I would not call this content. This is rehash stuff that's lazy. It's lazy. It's an anniversary. This is lazy. No new tower stage. Why? When was the last time we even got the tower stage? I don't even remember. remember. I don't even remember the last time we got a tower stage. And I feel like the way they're going to go with resetting towers is going to be every year. Maybe every uh, like end of year. That's fine. I would prefer every six months, but that's fine. Make new stages, though. Well, it's, it's, it's anniversary. It's anniversary. It's anniversary. It's anniversary. It's anniversary. New tower stages. No new Demonic Beast battle. We got a Ragnarok banner. Which I'll talk about in a second. We got, we got a Ragnarok in it. But no new Demonic Beast battle. And I think the Demonic Beast battle will be actually dropped next week. Uh, but it, it, it would have been a cool addition for Anniversary. Um, no Fever. Now, Fever, like I said, was not perfect. Because it wasn't like that many free multis you got. But it was a great addition because you summoned on the main anniversary banner and you get rewarded for summoning on the anniversary banner with getting multis in a different banner. Brilliant idea. Why did they not bring it back? Like, they replaced Fever with the free banner that we got pre-anniversary. But here's the thing. As, the, as these games get older, the standards only go up. 
is what I've been saying with the good, th good things they're doing. The standards only go up. For the 4th anniversary, you only expect better. Fever was something they, again, cut from the game that they could have just remained in. And the characters that are were on Fever, these special characters that don't come back often, are huge. Zaneri is still an almost necessary character in the game if you actually don't want to get back, get, like, be kicked on Belmoth. Um, they cut Fever for no reason. Fever should have been uh, an addition to the anniversary, and it would have been really cool. Um, the DSP dungeon stage could have been better. Now, this might be a nitpick. Um, uh, where do you see the reward? I don't know. This little stage thingy uh, should have given like an SSR pendant per day. They knew, like they dropped level 100. We're gonna need more SSR pendants. Should have dropped like an SSR pendant per day uh, alongside the, the one gem. They cut off the, the free gem after a week. Um, and the rest of the stuff is dropping. The SA coin, one SA coin. It's better. Um, and a brand new game mode. So they, they talked about a new a brand new game mode being dropped when Liz goes away. So on the 30th of June, we are going to be getting a brand new game mode uh, that's going to be... The way they describe it sounds like a roguelike. If you know what a roguelike, roguelike is, uh, Google it. But why didn't they drop this anniversary? It's anniversary. <laughs> Come on, man. This is the content. Like, the, if you go, okay, if you go on my tweet that I made, and follow me on Twitter, if you go on my tweet, most of the replies of actual legitimate criticism, because a lot of people just say, oh, I should have got more gems. It's not legitimate criticism. Legitimate criticism was there was not enough content for an anniversary. I think that was, um, honestly, the thing that they, they did the worst was content. I do like the demon. I grinded the demon a lot because I am a YouTuber. I need to level 100 more characters. I need to. But for the average player, and again, my experience on my free-to-play account is that I just do my daily demons and that's about it. That's that's about it. Um, the part 2 banner is boring. <laughs> it's boring. It's Brynhildr. I like Brynhildr as a character. I think she's cute. She looks like my girlfriend. I think she's cute. It's boring. It's Brynhildr. It's not a cool sin. It's not a cool s character from the story. It's it's Brynhildr. It's anniversary. This is part two anniversary. The, the anniversary logo is right here. And the banner sucks. The banner sucks. Why do they make the anniversary banner suck? Uh, I mean, the top here doesn't look so bad. Green Galfer, Dariari. But then you look like, okay. As far as part two banners go for anniversary, as weird as it is, this is the best we've got so far. <laughs> yeah, if you remember, maybe you have bad memory. Part two anniversary banner for Bon was Blue Hawk and Oslo. It was even worse. And first anniversary was Droll. Droll's kind of cool, but it was Droll. This is the best we've got as far as all the anniversaries go. But that standard was so low that it wasn't really hard, was it, to get a better banner than Blue Hawk in Oslo? So, I'm not considering that a W for this anniversary. I'm considering that a minor L. Um, part is boring. It's boring. <laughs> oh, this is a big one. Level cap 100. Should not have been a thing. Now, they introduced the war pendants. And honestly, Maybe, maybe I'm just different. I think your pendants are kind of cool. As a design, they look cool. They look cool. I don't want to have to use 12 SSR pendants to go from 90 to 100. You know why? Because I've been spending so much. I spent every SSR pendant I have. I spent almost all my gold coins. A ton of SSR coins to buy SSR pendants. Because again, I need so many goddamn SSR pendants to level 100 my characters now. Should have been level 95. Again, I like the raid. I think the level cap should have increased this anniversary. I think so, but not to 100, to 95. One UR pendant. That would that, that would be cool. You only one one UR pendant. One UR pendant. You go from 90 to 95, and then maybe um, end of year, end of year celebration, um, drop level 100. But no, they dropped 
um, you need three war pendants, and you need 125 original demon mats. That's so much compared to Belmoth, which was already a lot com in comparison to the other demons, but it was 70 from 80 to 90. And now you need 75 more Belmoths and 125 original demons? Shit! If it was only 90 to 95, it would not look nearly as bad. <laughs> uh, so weird, champ. Um, okay, now this is a minor one. Um, the Awakening coin they gave is pretty cool. But... Why does it only give level 90? They should have given everything. Level 90, Awakening, Max Super Awakening. It's only two coins. Let me max Super Awaken a character with that. I feel like Super Awakening, in general, as a system, is something they feel like we don't need more of, like, coins-wise. I swear they barely give us extra. And uh, Super Awakening is, is a, honestly the worst system in the game. I would say GP is the worst system in the game. But Super Awakening is up there. Um, okay. Now, I praise the free banner relentlessly already but i can't show the banner right now because again it's gone but the free banner should have been fully free i should not have had the option to spend gems on the free banner it didn't feel like a free banner now i know for a uh, first anniversary the free banner was the blue no uh the blue matrona way worse but First anniversary was the worst celebration ever, honestly. So I'm cutting it off from my memory. Uh, second anniversary got a free banner that was completely free. You couldn't spend gems on it. And this free banner, which again, I can't show because it's gone. It was like, if you want the whole reward for the banner, you have to spend gems on it. You only have to spend 150 to get the Merlin or Assault Melee at the end. So it was like, you could have just given that for free. Right? Like, sure. Lolly Merlin's still a very powerful character. Maybe don't want to give ev everything for free. But, like... Let me let me tell you a little secret here. It's anniversary. They might as well. Either don't give me the option to spend the gems in the free banner, or give me the whole thing for free. And allow me to use gems if I want to continue summoning. But they treated that banner like Fever. The difference is that Fever was just different. Fever was just different. Uh, because you got the multis from somebody on the regular banner, it just felt like an event. I don't know. The free banner was really great. Again, it was great. It's just that thing where it's like, psychologically, you feel scammed by not being able to get the Merlin. You feel like it. it wasn't, you weren't actually, but you feel like it. Uh, the final boss sucks. Again, Global hasn't got that yet. Uh, the final boss is this little hawk that dies in one turn on the highest difficulty. Is that content? I I auto it, so I, I guess. Um, it could have been a cool final boss like Sauriel or Ludociel, like a cool character. But no, it was hawk, uh, a character no one cares about, really. And... It's made for babies. Like, really. The, want me to do a run? I'll do a run right now. Let's do a run. Like this. <laughs> Let me show you how long it takes. So, this is my final boss team for uh, points. Let me show you how long a run takes on the final boss, Hawk. The anniversary final boss with the highest difficulty. Now, first anniversary. God, I'm trying to forget it existed. But, had Twigo final boss. It was also bad. Like, it's funny. It's Twigo, it's funny. But it was made for babies, right? It was stupid easy. So I one turn the first phase. And I don't know why they keep doing it like that. I think that what they should do is... This, this only goes up to extreme. Give me hell difficulty. If you want the babies to be able to beat this, because you, you want new players to be able to beat this, sure. And this is phase two. It's over. Um, you want the babies to be able to do this. I understand. But, like, give me something, man. 
This is not content. I auto this. I like this is. I actually click the cars this time, but usually I just auto it when I want to get my daily rewards for it. So the final boss is kind of lame. Uh, I'm, I'm actually having to add this in um, afterwards because I, I blocked off of my memory. I think I completely forgot this is even a part of the anniversary. Um, this free hawk they gave sucks. How do they give a worse hawk than the wor the one that we already had, the green one? This free hawk sucks. Like, why even bother? Give good free units. Or don't give them at all. It's, it's so weird. It's so weird. And last, uh, maybe I forgot some stuff that they should have done better. But honestly, that's about it. Um, lastly, uh, it's not about it. This is the last part. Uh, no double raids for gear gotcha? Why? Do I need to keep saying it's anniversary? I think that they forgot. Um, just why? I feel like a lot, a lot of people kept asking me uh, when the part two patch notes dropped. Uh, oh, is there gear gotcha double? Is there gear got gear gotcha double? Because a lot of people are expecting it. It's anniversary. Um, and um, no costume discount. Uh, what's a character I don't have costumes for? Shit. Uh, no costume discount. Why? Okay, I need to pick a different. Okay, I need to pick a character that I have costumes for. Why? Like, uh, when was it, uh, the last time they did this? Right? I don't even remember. Sorry, I don't have the the memory of an elephant. Um, but why not do this on <clears throat> anniversary? Um, just weird. It's just stuff that you would expect from an anniversary, and just didn't happen. So those are my roundup of complaints. And if, if the Marvel spy watching this can relay the message, I would be very much appreciated because this celebration was great. I, I ending on the negatives is kind of weird <laughs> because it, it sounds like the celebration was dog shit. It was really good. It was really engaging, for the most part, you know, with the demon. Uh, but there is a timeline where this celebration was so good that um, the player numbers went for more than like, you know, a few thousand active users. Um, and it went for like actually, you know, comparable numbers to like Dokkan and shit. I don't know. Like there is a world where if this stuff, all of these complaints were, you know, done, you know, properly here, it would have been the best celebration any game has ever seen. So that's about it. Let me know what you think. And uh, this video is long, but I feel like there's a lot to talk about. Again, celebration overall, positive. Could have been better.